Welcome to the Pro Kitchen 8.1.5 Lighting Wizard tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how you can use the automatic lighting wizard to automatically place lights in your cabinets and moldings. Now, I'm going to start by placing lighting inside of my left wall cabinet. So I'm going to double click on that and then move over to the lighting tab. Now when I click on that, it's not going to show any lighting in there, but if I click on my default lighting, then you'll see that in each section of the cabinet, a light has been placed. Now let's say I don't like that lighting. So I can get rid of those, go over to my inside cabinet light catalog, and choose one that I like better. This one looks good, so I'll click on it and move it over, and because our default lighting tab was checked, it will place lighting in each section. But that looks like a lot to me. So I'm going to delete the lights in section 2 and section 5, the two middle sections. Perfect. Now let's say that I don't like how they're positioned. I can change the distance from the front. I can also change the distance from the left if I want. And you see those have moved. Now let's move them back to where they were. All right, so that cabinet is looking good. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to double click on my right wall cabinet and go to the lighting tab again. And I'm going to make this one look exactly like the last one that I just did. So I need to get rid of all of the lighting fixtures that were automatically placed and change the defaults. And now we still have six in there, so I'm going to delete in two and in five. Perfect. Click OK. So I'm going to go over to the 3D button and click on it. Now we need to make sure that in 3D we click on the tab that opens up our doors because they will appear and they will be closed but you'll want them to be open so that you can see what the light looks like. Now the light won't show in your regular 3D rendering but in HD it will. So here's a quick preview of what it'll look like in HD and you can see the light shining through. Now you have the option here to customize a few different things. Um, you can change the scene light if you want the cabinets to really pop or the cabinet lighting to really pop. Here's our HD rendering, just like we positioned it. Now let's say we want to make some adjustments to the wattage. We can go into our 3D rendering and click on the light button. And in here we have the option to not only change the room lighting settings, but also change the lighting settings within the cabinet. So we can increase the light intensity. Let's bump that up a little bit to about 50. You can change the direction that the light shines in, and you can even change the color. So just for fun here, we're going to select a, let's do a blue and see what that looks like. Click OK. And we'll go into our HD. Oops, I forgot to open up my cabinets. So I'm going to go over here to this button, make sure I open up my cabinets. And now here's the preview. Click Render. And there are little blue lights. Now let's learn how we can add 
lighting to our moldings. So we're going to go over to our little light bulb on our left side toolbar and go into lighting settings. And here you have the option to pick your light rail molding lighting, your top molding lighting, and your toe kick lighting. You can adjust the intensity, you can change the distance between lightings, you can change the type of fixture that you have. I'm going to set all of mine at or around 50 watts. Click OK and go back into 3D. Now I'm going to position my room. First I'm going to open my cabinet doors and then I'm going to position my room in a good way to demonstrate. And you can kind of see the top light rail molding and then the toe kick. And we'll click HD so that we can see what the light looks like. And there's a little preview. And it looks like our blue light is still in there because I didn't change that. And here's our rendering. And there you have it. Very easy, very simple way to use our automatic lighting wizard to place lights in your cabinets and in your designs.